I'm Jeannie Klein, and this is my brand new series called Super Simple. All of my recipes are 10 ingredients or less. We're repurposing leftovers for the following day to come up with a brand new dish. We're doing food in a smart, efficient, but really fun way. It's all super simple. Today I'm showing you how to make a really simple and insanely flavorful chipotle egg bake. You're gonna love these flavors. And make sure you stick around to the end because I'm showing you how to repurpose the leftovers in a completely different meal. Let's get to it. Okay, so let's make some spicy chipotle egg bake. You guys are gonna love this one. It comes together really, really quickly. So I have a nice cast iron pan here that I'm gonna get some olive oil heated up in. And to that, we're gonna add our garlic. I love using fresh garlic. It takes a little bit more time than garlic powder, even though a lot of times in my recipes, I'll end up using both because I think it just gives different flavor. But fresh garlic is really, really good here. So we're just gonna cook that down a little bit, get the oil nice and fragrant. Mm, smells good already. And I'm using a cast iron pan today. I like using cast iron because I love serving in cast iron. And that's a really good tip for easy cleanup. You could serve in the same dish that you actually cook it in. Win, 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 win. All right, while that's cooking, I'm gonna start working on my eggplant here. I'm cutting off the tops and the bottoms. And I'm actually gonna peel it. I know a lot of people don't peel eggplant, but it actually works beautifully here because the eggplant is able to sort of melt into the sauce. So I'm constantly looking for really simple breakfast ideas and I never make the same thing twice. Some mornings I want something savory, some sweet. So I'm always trying different things and egg bakes are the best way to go for me because it just all cooks in one pan. Really great flavors going on here. I happen to love anything with marinara sauce. Plus you're getting your veggies in and your protein with the egg. So it's healthy to boot. All right, so we're just peeling this. I'm gonna get my sauce in here. I have some marinara sauce and you could use any marinara sauce that you like. Any flavor that you prefer. This is all about you. Make this the way you want it. I don't believe in any rules, which is why I like cooking rather than baking, because I just do me. I do my thing, I use what I have in my pantry, and what I have on hand is what I use in my recipes. To that, we're gonna add some garlic powder, onion powder, some oregano, and just season that with a nice amount of salt, and some freshly ground black pepper. Give that a mix around. Before I get my eggplant into my sauce, I'm gonna grab some chipotles and adobo, which is going to add insane flavor to this egg bake. Let's get it. Okay, so living in Florida, I have been picking up on all of these Latin flavors and chipotles and adobo have been my new best friend. I've been throwing this in everything. Any kind of sauce that I make, egg bakes, dressings, it is the best secret weapon in my kitchen now because it packs so much flavor. It's basically chipotles and vinegar and tomato paste. It has that smokiness to it and you're, you're packing so much flavor in here with zero effort. So whatever I can use to help along flavor and get really, really great result with very little effort, I'm all about that. Okay, so that's gonna heat up. Let's cut our eggplant. I'm just gonna cut this into cubes. Eggplant, I think is the coolest thing ever. There's so much you can do with it. You can serve it fried, you can make it really soft. You could do stews with it. You can make French fries out of it. It's just the most versatile thing. You can make it smoky and fry it right on the fire. It just adds an extra layer of flavor. So good. All right, so we are just going to mix this all together. I'm gonna cover up my pan. And we're just gonna bring it to a boil and then immediately just simmer it for about 20 minutes or so until the eggplant gets nice and soft. Now, if you wanted to sub peppers in here for the eggplant, any other vegetables that you wanna use, zucchinis, throw in whatever you want by all means. Let's cover up our sauce. Meanwhile, let's chop up some cilantro because that's what we're gonna be adding on top along with some feta cheese. Oh, these are such good flavors, I'm so excited. Eee. And just give that a rough chop. I don't like to chop my herbs too finely. I like to see what it is. I think it just looks really nice and rustic, especially when you're serving it in a cast iron. So I'm just gonna leave it just like this. Mm. I love cilantro. We're gonna let that do its thing and then we'll add the eggs. All right, so now that our sauce is nice and cooked through, we are going to add in our eggs. So all I'm doing, I'm taking my spatula and just kind of making a few little wells just 
to place our eggs into. We're gonna use eight eggs here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's say seven, eight. Now we're just gonna crack them right in. Gonna be good. <sighs> Yum. Now with the eggs, you can cook this as long or as little as you like. I usually do around 10 minutes or so, but it just depends on how oozy goozy you like your eggs, as we call it at home. I like it when it's cooked, but still a little bit runny. All right, one more. Gorge. All right. Pop the top on one more time, and let's simmer this for about 10 minutes or so until it's oozy goozy perfection. Look at that, so good. Ooh. That looks bomb. I like to just top this with some fresh cilantro. How gorgeous is that? And some crumbled feta. But top this any way you like. This is just my favorite way. Oh, looks so good. I actually like to add some Non bread, I like to serve it with this because it's just a really good spoon. Like the best spoon, because it's an edible spoon. I just place this non bread all around the edges, and that way people know to just grab your piece and claim your bite. So look, you're saving on the dishes because you're serving in the pan, and you're saving on cutlery. Win, win, win. As promised, we're turning every dish into a second meal for the following day. So I've taken the same sauce, leftover sauce. Skip the eggs, added in a favorite protein. You could use beef, you could use lamb, and put it over my favorite grain. Whether it's a pasta, grain, you could put it in a sandwich bun, call it a sloppy joe. You do you guys, super simple. 